The former Soviet Republic of Belarus has become politically isolated and has experienced economic decline since it achieved independence back in 1991. Well, now it seems increasing numbers of its citizens have had enough with the country's authoritarian regime and are choosing to live in neighboring Lithuania. University students and political activists are just some of the disaffected Belarusians who are now calling the Lithuanian capital of Vilnius home, at least temporarily, as Alex Kruger reports. This is the library of a university in exile. The European Humanities University was closed down by the Belarusian authorities two years ago. It moved here to Vilnius, leaving many of its books behind, but taking its students with it. Here you can receive the free education where you are um, provoked to express your thoughts, your feelings, and where you can discuss, you can argue. And if, if you don't like something, you uh, will be heard. That's not the case, she says, in Belarus. Protests after presidential elections in March ended in a violent crackdown by police. There were jail terms for protesters, opposition leaders, and even election observers. So Vilnius, itself once a Soviet city, has now become a refuge for Belarusians critical of their own government. Denis hopes to stand as a candidate in the January local elections in Belarus. He's practicing sounding out public opinion on the street in Vilnius. If he tried to do this at home, he says, he'd be harassed by the authorities. The main opposition leaders are also here, getting the results of an opinion poll from an American political institute. They were searched at the border on their way to Vilnius. The Belarusian government keeps a tight rein on their activities. Belarus is like an experimental laboratory where 10 million people are being kept in an ideology of totalitarianism and populism. The president of Belarus freely calls himself an authoritarian and Belarus is in no mood to listen to lectures from Europe on democracy and human rights. We are seeking for the relations based on principles of equality, non-interference, non-pressing. Uh, we would never accept uh, the, uh, the policy of uh, punishing, you know, the policy of uh, pushing. This is the eastern edge of the EU. Across the border lies Belarus. Its critics call it the last dictatorship in Europe. That's not just mudslinging. The West has a vested interest in spreading its values and in making its neighbour a more open, democratic place. Alex Kruger, BBC News, Lithuania. Well, uh, political uncertainty is also clouding the future of the Central Asian state of Turkmenistan after the death.